Hello, Colin from Auto Savvy here in Indianapolis. Give me a walkthrough video on this 2021 Chevrolet Traverse Premier. So on the outside, we got the mosaic black metallic paint, which looks absolutely incredible in the sun. But as you can see right now, it is dark outside, so I am inside. So I also do apologize if there's a bit of an echo with me talking. But as we come around to the front, you have these really nice LED headlights that just give you a bright and clear view of the road. You got some nice chrome accents on this front grill to give it a little bit of that pop. And as we come around to the side, you have these beautiful glossy black rims that I think just put this whole car together. It looks amazing black on black. And then one of my favorite things is they got the little red detailing behind the black traverse badging. I think it's a nice touch as well. And as you can see, you do get tenant windows in the back, which is going to supply you with that good privacy as well as keep out a lot of unwanted light. And you have more of that red badging behind the traverse badging, your all wheel drive badging right back here. It's the same on this side, including the red badging behind the Traverse right there. But let's go ahead and hop on the inside. So before we take a step inside, you do get keyless entry. So let's say you had your keys in your pocket and the thing was locked. You just go ahead and press your thumb on that little knob right there. And it's going to go ahead and unlock for you. Then you do have your blind spot sensors right here with that little car and star that will light up whenever someone's in your blind spot. So you don't have to look over your shoulder. Then on the interior, we got the jet black interior with these very nice leather seats. As we come around to the door, you do have your memory seat settings right here, basic window controls, tons of storage inside of the door. You do get a trunk button that is adjustable in case it's inside of a garage and you don't want to hit the ceiling. And you do get a Bose sound system as well. It just sounds incredible. As we take a step in here, you do get a heated steering wheel and you got your cruise control controls right over here, including collision assistance. Then right over here, this navigates through the menu in between the speedometer, as you can see it changing. You can also talk to the vehicle as well. Then behind here, you have next station, previous station, or next song, previous song, depending on if you have Bluetooth on or not. And then over here, this is volume up and volume down. You do get a push to start button as well as a beautiful infotainment center that does have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and built-in navigation as it is. And what's also really cool about this is you can go ahead and raise it up and you got a little bit of hidden storage back there as well. And then another really, really cool feature about this vehicle is it does have a digital camera, as you can see. I can flip it to regular camera or the digital, whichever you prefer. And then you do get heated and ventilated seats, as you can see right there, as well as dual climate in the front. Then you do get a wireless charging pad right here, and I apologize for it being a little dark right here, but there is two USB ports, as well as an aux port and a 12 volt plug-in. Your gear shifter, your drive select right down there, lane assist, and then your little e-brake, and you got your center console right in there. And what's also really, really nice is you have the moonroof in here or the double layered sunroof. But let's go ahead and check out the space in the back. So looking back here, you got more storage in these doors as well then you do get captain seats in the middle i'm going to raise this up take a step inside tons of room back here and it is adjustable i can slide the seat forward or backwards as you please then the rear also does get their own rear climate including seat warmers for these captain seats in the middle row there's an outlet plug-in right there as well as two usb ports i do apologize again for not really being able to see that it is pretty dark in here let's go ahead and check out the space in the third row as you can see, really good amount of room in this third row as well. Your passengers have tons of room to ride comfortably. They do get their own cup holders as well as a USB port right back here. And that is on both sides. And then they also do get a great view of the sunroof. But let's go ahead and check out the space in the trunk. So this vehicle does have a power lift gate. So what that means is I'm just gonna go ahead and give it one little tap. It's gonna open on its own. Nice, nice and convenient. As you can see, even the third row up, I know these all other mats that do come with this vehicle are kind of blocking it, but you do get tons of room back here and you are able to drop these seats if you want even more room. Then you also get a 12 volt plug in back here in case you got some bigger devices that you want to charge or maybe you just want to work out of your trunk depending on what you do for your job. Then I'm going to try to move this up a little bit. As you can kind of see peeking down there, I know the floor mats are kind of in the way and it's hard with one hand, but there's a little bit of storage under here right there. And then below that extra storage is the spare tire. Then to go ahead and shut this, you're going to go and press that and it's going to shut for you. But that is going to wrap it up for this 2021 Traverse. If there's anything that I missed or anything you want further details on, don't hesitate to ask. I'd be more than happy to help.